All right, this is how to install PostgreSQL and PG Admin 4 on Windows 11 fast and easy. First, look up PostgreSQL in your preferred search engine and head to its homepage or straight to the downloads page. On this page, select Windows as the operating system. And on this page here at the top, click download the installer to proceed to the next screen. Then on this page, unless you have specific PostgreSQL version needs, go with the latest one under the Windows X86 64 column. It's usually the most stable and feature complete option. You will be redirected to another page, but here, just wait for the download to start and complete. It shouldn't take too long depending on your internet speed. Then look it up in your downloads folder and launch the installation file. Now, in the welcome window, click next to begin the actual installation process. Here in the installation directory window, you can specify the installation directory if you want PostgreSQL installed somewhere specific or leave it as is and click next. Now here, you have a choice to select four components. PostgreSQL Server is the actual database system that stores and manages your data. This is the core component you definitely need. PGAdmin4 is a graphical tool that lets you manage your databases in a more visual and beginner-friendly way. It makes working with databases much easier. Stack Builder is an extra tool that helps you install add-ons or drivers later if needed. I will show that later in this tutorial. Command line tools are for using PostgreSQL from the terminal or for scripting purposes. These can be handy even if you're not a command line expert. Unless you know exactly what you don't need, I recommend keeping all four checked and just clicking next to continue with the installation. Here you can set the data directory or leave it as is and click next. You have to set a password for the database super user account, which is named Postgres. This is the main admin account, so choose a password you'll remember. Retype the same password below for confirmation and then click next to proceed. Now, you are asked to set the port number the database server should listen on. By default, it's set to 5432, which is the standard port for PostgreSQL. No need to change it unless you already have another PostgreSQL instance running or need a custom setup. Just leave it as it is and click Next to continue. Here you are asked to select the locale for your database cluster. Locale controls language, number formatting, and sorting rules in your database. Unless you have specific needs, leaving it on default locale is fine. Just click Next to continue with the setup. Here you'll see a summary screen where you can review all the choices you made during the setup. Take a quick look to make sure everything is correct and click next to proceed and click next again to start the actual installation process. Now this may take a while as it copies files and configures your system. Once it finishes, it will offer you to launch Stack Builder. It is a tool that lets you download and install extra tools, drivers, and extensions for PostgreSQL. You can keep it checked if you want to explore those options options right away, or uncheck it and click finish to complete the setup without any extras. For the sake of demonstration, let's peek what's inside Stack Builder. Here, select your PostgreSQL installation from the list to continue. Usually, it shows your installed version and port. Just select it and click next to see what add-ons are available. So these are the categories that let you add extra features to your PostgreSQL setup. Add-ons, tools, and utilities include things like monitoring tools, backup utilities, and admin help. These can make managing your database easier. Database drivers let PostgreSQL connect to other apps or programming languages like Excel or Java. These are important if you're developing applications. Database server includes extra tools or extensions for the server itself. These add more functionality to your database. Registration required and trial products are commercial tools that may need a license or trial signup. Some of these offer advanced features for enterprise use. Spatial extensions are for working with geographic and location-based data, like maps. These are specialized tools for GIS applications. Web development tools help connect your database with web apps and development frameworks. These are useful if you're building web applications. Select ones you might need and proceed with the installation by following the on-screen instructions. I will skip this step since I am not installing anything right now, but the installation is straightforward if you chose anything from here. You just follow the prompts. Now, to access PostgreSQL, through pgadmin4, just search for it in the taskbar search. Type pgadmin and it should appear. Run it and wait for it to load and you're in, ready to create what's on your mind. If you found this guide helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. See you in the next video.